According to the passage, which of the following is true of the rock fragments contained in the sediments studied by Bond? And here we look at line number five. It says these fragments, they must have reached their present locations by traveling in large icebergs that floated long distances. It goes on to say that Bond studies these sediments. So therefore, they were carried by icebergs to their present location, which is answer choice C. Now, why isn't it answer choice D? Most of them were carried to their present location during a warm period in Earth's climatic or climatic history. And the reason why this isn't necessarily true is because you have these sediments and they vary in terms of the amount of red stuff, I will just call it, that these sediments have in it. So the mix of these different sediment grains, I guess he calls them. So, so the idea here is that these sediment grains, so I'll just take a there's a sediment, and here's grains. These grains are going to be as many as 17% of the sediment can be grains, or maybe just as much as five. So the difference of how much sediment is in rock depends on whether it was an ice age or a warm time. But you can have two rocks right next to each other in the same ocean, same bed, seabed, and they could come from totally different times. The main point isn't that they came from the same time, whether it's the ice age or the warmth, but that they were brought there by icebergs, and that, of course, is answer choice C.